Welcome to Managing Asia. I'm Christine Tan. More and more women are changing the business landscape here in Asia. So today we bring back some of the inspirational women we've spoken to in the past to find out what drives them. Noni Pernomo and her family have been running Indonesia's largest cab company, Bluebird Group, for decades. From young, this charismatic third-generation manager doesn't mind getting her hands dirty. Being a leader in a taxi company, we need to be able to know what's really going on on the ground. And sometimes we, we can only learn truly by doing it ourselves. So just to get the experience, to, to know get, what your drivers are going through. To, to know what the driver is going through. The new driver will face the same challenges as I would, right? Not knowing each um, road in Jakarta. Mm -hmm. And then also, you know, uh, being able to handle customers who maybe are not in a good uh, mood at, uh, on that time. Noni mingles regularly with the drivers, continuing an inclusive culture that has been the linchpin of growth throughout the years. If we want to be respected by others, we have to respect them first. And we need every single person in the family, in the corporate family because we're so used to say that you know family is not just our bloodline family family for us is everybody who work at Bluebird right so they're all our family I think I'm really grateful of the way my late grandmother and my father and my mom brought me up I mean they they embedded the value that we shall not create um, space uh, status space between us and the rest of the people within the company so I'm so used to it she says she gets her biggest inspiration from her father, Pranomo Prawiro, and her grandmother, who founded the business in the 1970s with just 25 cars. The first time she was uh, trying to get the license, she was rejected because she was not um, recognized as a business person. And no other women was in the transportation industry, especially on that time. It was 1971. The important part to be shared with us was that how she, every time she falls, she stand up and try to run faster. So that's the lesson learned. So it's okay to fall. You know, it's okay to hit walls. But what is important? What are we going to do about it? Noni, who has helped to modernize the business, proudly showed me her central control system that maps the location and status of every cab in Jakarta. But heading up the group hasn't been easy. In the years growing Bluebird here in Indonesia, there have been some challenges. Growing in some domestic markets like Palembang, Batam, for instance, have been rather hard to conquer. You've had to meet unruly behavior from mob drivers, not to mention protests. As a woman, how do you deal with these volatile and potentially explosive situations? Were you ever afraid? Um, of course, uh, I faced some doubts, yeah, you know. Um, but since I was young, we, we were trained, especially one of the values that my grandmother uh, teaches, uh, taught us was that every time we face problem, we see it as a challenge. And, you know, once we can overcome the challenge, that means we would just grow better. Of course, I had my worries and things, but then again, you know, every time we open a new branch, it's for the good cause, right? And so if we have a, a good intention, I strongly believe that it's going to be okay. And honestly speaking, being a woman in that kind of situation has benefits as well. Uh, in what way? <laughs> well, for example, like, uh, Bali when we had a uh, demonstration and we had to do negotiations and being the only women in the room I think makes a difference mm. um, we can bring uh, coolness you know like the motherhood kind of energy mm. um, so the people who were really like uh, angry and really want to fight in the beginning, you know, because I was just smiling at them and shaking their hands and they just couldn't hit me, right? Mm. So that's one of the, the women traits that we can leverage, mm. actually. Do you think these explosive situations have sort of helped you prove that you had the metal to take over the family business? Do you think these situations helped to prove that you had the guts to take over the family business? I think uh, every situation that we, Past that we managed to uh, 
face the challenge will make us a better person. And I learned every single time. Do I have the guts? I think the, the passion and the values that is being taught to me uh, make me who I am today. And whether I'm the perfect person or not the perfect person is not up to me to decide. Uh, I think what is important is whoever can take this company forward and can bring the value and grow the value and make sure of the sustainability, uh, sustainability of the company is the perfect fit for this company. The taxi unit made a headline IPO late 2014, raising 200 million US dollars, which puts her father on Indonesia's rich list. By having public uh, shareholders, we hope that the public shareholder will help the, the corporate governance to be embedded fully. Noni is now turning her attention to logistics and delivery services, hoping to make deeper inroads and grow Bluebird Group into a bigger force on the streets of Indonesia.